Hey guys, the Cubit here, and today I have an unboxing from the Cubicle. So, I felt around this package, and uh, there are two cubes in here, I and mean, I'm pretty sure I only got one. You guys can probably tell from the title of this video, that I believe the watch bong is in here. The new Moyu 5x5, but I don't know where my scissors are. So, in here. Oh my god, they sent the mini uh, Aosu, that was so nice of them. Wow. That is amazing. Okay. Comes with the little logo. Or not logo, business card. I really like the transparent ones, by the way. If anybody from the cubicle is watching. But in here we have the new Moyu Huachuang and the Moyu Aosu. This is the mini one. And I've heard lots of good things about this, so I can't wait to actually get into that. So, I'm gonna dig into the Huachuang first. And right off the bat, I see Felix on the pamphlet. Nobody wants to see the pamphlet. But anyways, uh, I was really surprised that Moyu came out with another 5x5 because the Aochuang was really good. And I know I suck at 5x5, but uh, I've even heard from people who are good at 5x5 that it was great. And they were even surprised that they uh, came out with another one. But I guess there were some issues with it that hopefully they fixed. And here with me I have the, uh, the Aochuang to compare it to. So size comparison, same size. Compared to a 57. There's that. Alright, so first let me get a feel for this one. Alright, um, first off, uh, the box is pretty dry, just like all Moyu puzzles. Corner cutting, uh, it is about line to line, and then the inner layers are about line to line I guess there. So it's pretty good right out of the box. I'm gonna have to uh, lube it and tension it. And I might not even uh, have this out for like a week. That way I can get Shane and Alex to lube it and tension it. Anyways, there is the uh, Moyu uh, Wong. Having trouble saying that. Anyways, let's dig into the Mini Aosu. Pamphlets on the side. And there's no plastic thing over the logo on that. Thank you once again to keep going for sending the more you out to the mini one. Was not expecting that. Anyways, here is a size comparison to a regular Aosu. And uh, I love my Aosu. I've been told it's good by Shane, and Shane is very fast at 4x4. He has a state record in California for single, I believe. And I'm not quite sure if it's average too. But anyways. First turns, it's really smooth, it's not dry at all. It's probably pre-lubed, yeah, I can tell that there's lube. And, oh, there is lube on the 5x5 too, but it still feels a bit dry. So my first impressions of the Mini Aosu are that it's really great. Uh, everything that I've heard about it so far being amazing is true. Let's check out the corner cutting. Wow, that is a really good corner cutting. It's a little bit over line to line with ease. And then the inner layers are line to line as well and that's with ease too a little bit over you kind of have to push it but line to line should go with ease so i guess uh, this mini aosu would fit anybody with kind of small ish hands so if the if you guys found the aosu to be a, too, a bit big i'd highly recommend you guys uh get the mini aosu this feels a little bit too small for me because i have big hands so i'm probably going to stick with a regular size Aosu and for the 5x5s I'm gonna have to uh, look at the mechanism actually and then maybe I'll get back to you in the second half of this video. Alright so I decided to take them apart now before I actually review them and I uh, wanted to show you guys that on the uh, Moyu Huachuang there is an inner 3x3 core like on the Shengxiao 6x6 and for that reason I can't really pull out the edges and the corners but uh, let's try and focus. It's hard with black cubes but uh, you might be able to see there are like two wings on the edge. However, on the ouch wing, there's only one of these. There's two of these on the Hua Chuang. Uh, and uh, same at the corner, there's only one stock on the ouch wang and two on the Hua Chuang. And then as for the center pieces, to the left I have the, the ouch wang. To the right I have the Hua Chuang. You can see they're a bit different and also the inner edges. 
flatten them up like that. As for the centerpiece that goes right above here, um, they're a bit different as well. As you can see, it's a lot thinner on the watch wong. Let's try and focus it. So as you can see, the wings are a bit thinner, thicker on the ouch wong, but thinner on the watch wong. That should make the watch wong a bit more stable. As for the mechanism on the Aosu, I'm assuming it's the same thing as the regular, just kind of shrunk down a bit. Alright, so it's been a couple of weeks since I've gotten these cubes, and I gotta say the Moyu Aosu, the mini one, is just the exact same as the regular Aosu, just if you prefer a smaller 4x4, then I would highly recommend this. So you can find a link to buy both of these in the description, but this is exactly the same as the Aosu, just everything's scaled down a tiny bit. So if you have smaller hands, then I'd highly recommend you guys get that. Then for the Hua Chuang, I gotta say it's a lot better than the Ao Chuang. The Ao Chuang feels a bit more bubbly, and this does feel a bit more stable, and I think that's due to the pieces, as you guys saw before uh, back at my house. So the Hua Chuang has also seemed to lock up a little bit less. Now uh, again, I've said this multiple times before, I'm not that great at 5x5, but I can still tell when one cube is better than the other. So I also asked my friends Alex Devani the Nub and Shane Grogan, what they thought of the Aochuang when I saw them right before Nub Open, and they both uh, loved it. They loved it a lot more than the Aochuang, and they also agreed that uh, it was a lot more stable, faster, and just an overall great cube to have. So if you guys have any questions, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. This video's letters are HWP. I hope you all enjoyed, and thanks for watching. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn.